The big game is fast approaching. You compare prices, buy tickets, get to the game. Ticketcompare.com. Buying tickets made simple. Thanks very much, Jeremy Armstrong from the Daily Mirror. Uh, if it came to penalties, would you fancy one? Sorry? If it came to a penalty shootout, would you fancy one? Yeah, why not? Um, I think that's, that's what football's about. And those, those moments that, you know, that, that takes courage and, and heart to, to take a penalty, I'd, I'd love to do it. And have you discussed it as a team? You know, because of the previous experiences, there's been talk of talking to the, the younger lads who've won, obviously, and had tremendous success. I'm just wondering if that's something which has been aired in team meetings where you've talked about penalty shootouts. I know it's a bit rather early, yeah. but, you know. Yeah, definitely. I think it's, you know, penalty shootout is a big part of tournament football and that can de decide games. So, you know, we've been, we've been practising them you know, nearly, nearly every training session. Uh, to make sure to make sure we're we're ready if uh, the time comes. So um, I expect we'd have a few more practices before before we, um, the games come. For you, for you personally, no no fear at this juncture. You would you would be you would relish the opportunity to take one. Yeah, I'd, I'd love to take one. Yeah. Thank you. Next question. Hi, Ruben Jerry Lawton from the Daily Star. I read an interview. Um, with you, that you learnt to play football in a cage when you were younger. Could you tell us a little bit about that? And is this a lion coming out of the cage? <laughs> um, so yeah, when where I lived in uh, in Swanley, I um, there was there was a, a park just up the road, probably a like hundred hundred meters up the road, and um, yeah, it was just literally a walk, and the 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 council, you know. We was at the park one time and the council came and said, would you like to have a cage here or, or you know, a basketball court? And we said, no, nah, let's get a football cage in it. And um, it ended up happening. And yeah, I can, from what I can remember, me and my, me and my friends were, were up there all the time just playing football. Could you tell us how that's influenced the way you play maybe, working in that restricted sort of environment? Yeah, I think that tight, that tight space is, you know, you have to use you know, quick feet and learn to manoeuvre the ball uh, really well so that you know that come in good stead for for me in my in my career so thank you thank you Tom Firefield at the Hey Ruben, Dominic Firefield at the Guardian. Uh, Ruben, you worked with Steve Holland at, at Chelsea um, and then obviously now with England. Can you give us an insight into what he, he does on the training ground and, and, and you know if he's proactive, how how he works with Gareth? I think it's a real real pleasure to have Steve as, in, as the England coach because the, the amount of managers he's worked with you know Jose Mourinho Conte the, these managers and he can all take all that you know knowledge from, from working with these these top managers and um, you know you know bring it to us so I think all the players are grateful to, ha to have him and you know he works really well with Gareth and he, you know the training sessions are great and you know that's why the boys are doing so well as well. Do they do they complement each other, or does you know is there a good cop bad cop, or is, is one <laughs> of them more active on the training ground than the other? Um, I'd say I say Steve um, does a lot more of the of the training, and you know Gareth comes into play when we you know do more of the you know the tactical stuff. But they work really well together. Um, yeah, so training training is really really good. Okay, guys, any further questions? Thank you very much. Cheers. Thank you. Cheers, thank you. Thank you, guys.